Hello, my name is Dev Horn, and today I'm going to talk to you about network marketing, and particularly the question of network marketing versus a real job. Now, I kind of say this in jest, but I will share with you that uh, I am a professional with 25 years of experience, started over a dozen companies, uh, and I've been unemployed for the past six months. And so, if you're like me, you found yourself in a situation where you've got a tremendous amount of skill and experience, and all of a sudden, in the worst economy in 26 years, you can't find a job. Uh, that does cause a person to start to consider other ways that they may might, that they may make money. And uh, one of the ways is with a strategy or a business uh, model called network marketing. Uh, you might have heard the term uh, multi-level marketing, things like that. Uh, basically, it's you know a scenario where it's not just you, but you and people that you bring in and people that they bring in, and you begin to uh, override, you know, the, the people below you and and also the people below them, and you start to make money based not just upon on what you do, but upon what a group of people does, you know, a network of people. I really think it goes along well with kind of where we are today with the growth of social networks. Uh, now, network marketing is uh, a business. You are starting a business. I do want to point that out. It's not uh, like you're going to go down and uh, you know apply and get hired and uh, you'll get the cubicle and the salary every two weeks and that kind of thing. Um, but it is an opportunity. Uh, to start a business with a proven business model and a proven product and with a limited requirement for investment. Uh, kind of talked before about you know the two main aspects of network marketing strategy are that you multiply yourself as we talked about before and also that you create residual income. This is extremely important because uh, basically uh, it provides you with something a, a a security that a traditional job uh, doesn't really provide and that is that at some point you could actually stop doing it and it would continue to pay you for as long as the business was on the books the business that you and or your organization had written um, so what I you know the juncture I came to was I had spent a considerable considerable amount of time looking for a job and it's tough out there in this market and I started to look at these network marketing opportunities to see if there was something there that would allow me to make an income for myself and for my family, at least until the economy got better. But you know, as I've gotten more into this, I've gotten more excited about this as you know the way I'm going to make my money. I've, like I said, I've started over a dozen companies, and I've seen seen them come and go. And uh, one of the things that I know is required when you start a business is that you have to have a very good market, a growing market, with a, uh, you know, a, a market that you can get to uh, that is willing to hear about your product and willing to purchase it. Um, the growing market that I've become interested in and that I'm pursuing with network marketing is the market of identity theft and restoration. Identity theft is a huge problem in America today. You know, it, it's affecting tens of millions of families every year and growing at a phenomenal rate. Uh, and about 50% of the identity theft has happened where information has been stolen from an employer. And that, you know, I, I knew a guy uh, worked at a, at a company where I work and somebody got his identity information out of the dumpster. Um, and so, you know, a lot of ways that it can happen, uh, from dumpster diving to more uh, high-tech ways. But identities are being stolen, and uh, it's causing a tremendous problem, so it's created a tremendous uh, market. There's companies like um, uh, Lock, what is it, LifeLock, uh, IdentityGuard, ProtectMyID.com. Lots of people coming into the space. Most of them are coming into the space with a... a you know, and not a very good product. Uh, products that really just have like an alert attached to you to the credit bureaus or things like that. You have to have a product that goes far beyond that. Um, and, you know, I found that product. Uh, I'm working with a company called Ameriplan, 
and particularly the product that they have is called SecureNet and it's actually a uh, family of, of products within it. It's got ID theft protection, a national child ID um, where you, you know, store the DNA and fingerprints of your children, a family legal plan which provides free and discounted uh, uh, attorneys uh, to help you with contracts, you know, buying and selling a house or car or whatever, or if you get sued. Uh, roadside assistance and also financial services, the uh, credit repair and things like that. So SecureNet uh, basically wraps together a bunch of products and services that you see out on the market today under a, uh, one product uh, family called SecureNet. And it's offered by a company called Ameriplan. Ameriplan has been around for 15 years. They made a lot of money selling dental discount programs. So they, basically, Ameriplan helps people to save money um, and, 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 uh, or to, to keep from losing money in the case of uh, identity theft. Um, and at Ameriplan, the thing that really has attracted me is uh, kind of where I found where I sit now within that organization. There's 15 top earners at Ameriplan, they're called the National Vice Presidents. Um, I work just a couple of levels below uh, a National Vice President, uh, actually a couple, uh, Joe and Carol Garvey. And what has attracted me to their group is that they work with uh, in, in group business sales. So instead of the idea of going out and selling, uh, you know, secure net to your neighbors or to your family. The idea here is to go into companies and to offer secure net to a room of 50 to 100 or 300 employees. So you can imagine you can make a lot more money in that scenario. The second thing about what these guys have done is uh, they have developed a strategy to get into the company that I think is absolutely phenomenal. Their strategy is uh, helping businesses to become FACTA compliant. Now, FACTA is a new uh, regulation that's on the books, uh, came, came about in the Bush era, and is finally in its uh, you know, penalty phase, meaning they're actually finding companies now, uh, they're fining companies for being uh, non-compliant with FACTA. FACTA deals with uh, credit, uh, identity theft, the protection of your personal and private information, all that kind of stuff. The thing that's important for you to understand is that what the Garveys developed for their group business sales unit was a FACTA compliant presentation that you can basically say to a company, I can come in and present this to your group, uh, to your employees every quarter and by me providing the information I'm bringing, it will help you to be compliant with the factor regulation. And oh, by the way, I don't charge you, the business, any money uh, because at the end of my presentation, I offer the SecureNet product through payroll deduction. And uh, the business can pay for that or the employee. Uh, but, you know, if the business doesn't pay for it, it really costs the business nothing to become factor compliant and basically gives us that doorway in to offer the SecureNet product to all their employees at once uh, through payroll deduction. Again, you can imagine this isn't your, you know, your, your grandfather's MLM. This is group business sales, a very hot market, a very hot product, and a very, very strong strategy to get in. Um, I want you to contact me to get in more information. I'm sure I didn't cover anything near what you needed to hear today to, uh, to, to really understand the opportunity, but I wanted to get it started. Uh, you can reach me by email at dhorn, my name is Dev Horn, but uh, email is dhorn at ameriplan.net, that's .net, not .com, and my phone number, 214-444-8338.